Welcome in Twitter Bootstrap tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make um, uh, drop down menu on hover effect. Uh, so for that I'm just uh, download the latest Twitter Bootstrap uh, version from uh, getbootstrap.com and in here latestly going on latest uh, currently going on uh, 3.3.6 version. So I have already downloaded it and uh, already I have uh, created a folder uh, take this all folder uh, in my this is the my bootstrap folder and here the CSS all CSS files here is the fonts here is the JSS files so here is already I have create a file that called index.html so this is my index.html file and I have uh, written all basic HTML structure that you are seeing in here um, here I have already linked bootstrap.css file here is the CSS file and I have already added a bootstrap.css file linked with my script and below I have added a custom.css file also this is the custom.css files uh, that you can see in here and uh, I also added jQuery version and this is the jQuery that I have taken 2.0 version uh, because uh, still uh, jQuery 3 not supported in bootstrap so here I have taken 2.0 version and below that I have added bootstrap.js uh, that is uh, uh, native bootstrap file J jquery file from here so after that my duty is uh, I have to create a simple navigation for that I am taking help from get bootstrap so in get bootstrap.com I am just going to components and I'm click on a uh, nav bar in here and I'm just going to take this whole bunch of code from this site so I'm taking this uh, simple navigation um, and you can see the output in here when we click on here you can see the drop down menu but in here I'm just uh, um, want to see uh, on hover effect so I'm just uh, past it this navigation code and if I am going to run it after save you can see the drop uh, navigation look like this so when I click on here you can see the drop down menu but same thing we just want to see after hover effect so for this if I go on top you can see our actual code uh, is here so this is the drop down class and below that you can see a another list and this is the actual drop down menu that we are uh, showing in here so at first uh, I'm just going to add a simple CSS for that so in here I'm just going to take this drop down class so for that I'm just taking uh, writing uh, list and dot this drop down class uh, this drop down class and then I'm just uh, using the hover in here so if we uh, going to hover on this list then I'm just using the child selector and I'm just using that this unordered list that means I'm going to select this unordered list and then the class drop down menu I'm just going to select this drop down menu then curly braces and in here I'm just going to uh, use a simple CSS code that means uh, display block and if we're going to uh, save it and if we just uh, run this script again and if we just uh, cursor on here that means hover then we can see the uh, drop down menu so this is actually today's tutorial uh, thank you for see this tutorial welcome for the next tutorial thank you